In this video, we'll try to understand what does it mean to solve a linear function. As a reminder, linear functions are straight lines when plotted on graphs, so all of these are linear functions. Now, the general form of a linear function or equation is ax plus b equals 0. That is uh, the equation. In the graphic form, we usually use y equals mx plus c, where m is the slope and c is the y-intercept. In fact, these two are comparable, as the solution for a linear function is when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, and then it equals mx plus c, it is practically the same as saying mx plus c equals 0, and it is comparable to ax plus b equals 0. That's the same, these are just different coefficients. So we will use the graphic form in this presentation. So the solution to a linear function is a value of x that makes y equals 0. In this linear function, this is the solution. Do not mix it with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the function intercepts with the y-axis. The solution is when it intersects with the x-axis. So, how many solutions are there? In most cases, there is one solution. We will also see uh, later in the presentation cases in which there are no solutions or an infinite number of solutions. So, the one solution, which is the normal case, is uh, the case is all the linear functions that their m, their m, may be any non-zero value, which means m different than zero. C may be any value. Let's take an example: three x plus fifteen equals zero. M equals three and well, c equals 15. So if we shift 15 to the right and we get 3x equals minus 15 and then we divide by 3 to get x equals minus 5, then we have a solution x equals minus 5. That's the solution. We see it in the equation. Let's see it graphically. And indeed, when you look at it graphically, this is the linear function of y equals 3x plus 15. And you see that the solution is right over here in the interception, intersection point with the x-axis where y, where x equals minus 5. So this is the solution. Let's look at some different solutions. You can already tell that these are the solutions. Here it's, these are the solutions of these linear functions. How can we get them maybe a bit quicker? Well, there is a general solution to any linear function. There is a term that defines the solution. Let's try and, and figure it out. If we say that y equals mx plus c and y equals 0 in order to find a solution, and then we shift the, the c to the right by adding minus c, so these disappear and here minus at the right becomes minus c, then we divide by m to isolate x, x is the solution, right, and we divide the right side as well, so we get x equals minus c divided by m. This is our general solution, which means once we get to the format y equals mx plus c, we can simply take the c and take the m and get the solution. We don't need to do the entire manipulation. You can simply say that the solution x, well, the solution x in order to get to y equals 0 equals minus c divided by m. Let's check the example from before. 3x plus 15 equals 0. 
So we say m equals 3 and c equals 15. And we say that the general solution is x equals minus c divided by m. Minus c, that's minus 15, divided by m, that's 3, and that equals minus 5. This works every time. So let's get back to the functions that we saw before and try to find their general solutions. So here is a reminder of the general solution. We said that it is x equals minus c divided by m. That's the x that provides the solution for the function. So let's begin with the, the red function, y equals 2x plus uh, 5. So the solution would be x equals minus 5, because that's c divided by 2, that equals minus 2 and a half. Let's have a look at uh, the red function. Yeah, exactly minus two and a half. So that's working great. Moving over to the blue function. So x here equals minus two. That's it, divided by minus point half. So we have minus and minus. That's become a plus, right? And two divided by half, that equals four. Looking at the solution, that is 4. Moving to the green equation, y equals point half, uh, point 0.5x minus 1. So x equals minus c. Minus c, that's minus 1, becomes plus 1 divided by half. That equals 2. Looking at the green, that's great as well. And the last one is y equals minus x. It's the same as writing minus 1x plus 0. So that is our m and that's our c. So x equals minus c. That's minus 0 divided by minus 1. 0 divided by everything equals 0. And indeed we see the solution at 0. So the general solution works. Okay something to take home. Now, what are linear equations with no solutions? As you can see, these are all linear equations. These are just straight lines parallel to the x-axis, but they never meet it. Therefore, there are no solutions. So, these are the conditions. The slope must be parallel to the x-axis, so m equals zero and c may be any value but zero. We'll see what happens if c is zero in a minute. So looking at the red, the blue, green, and purple equations, they are all zero x, but we can just neglect that, and we say y equals two, so all the values are two, that's here. y equals 0.75, right here. y equals minus one, that's beneath the x-axis, here and y equals minus 2.75, that's here. None of them meet the x-axis and there are no solutions. So what happens if m equals 0 and c equals 0? That means that the entire, the entire function lies on the x-axis, right? That's exactly the function that we see over here. That means that every single point on the graph is a, is a solution since there is an infinite in number of points on any given line then there are infinite solutions but there is only one equation that fits that it is the equation where m equals zero and c equals zero or generally y equals zero so we saw here a couple of instances, and now you should have a better idea of how to solve a linear equation.